Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Today, my me and my crew will be presenting this huge Lego military aircraft carrier. Before we start, let me present my me and my crew. My name is Yenuka. My name is Shanok. My name is Devinj. And my name is Shaul. So, first we will be explaining the ship. So, first let's take away the helicopters. So the width, the length, the length of the ship is 18.5 centimeters, 89.5 centimeters, and the width, width, width is 18.5 centimeters. So this is quite a massive ship. So if we take a closer look, we have the characters here, uh, like the the guns and the bow of the ship right bow yeah, yeah. And, and, and we also these have hatches this also open and we Jets. also have mr commander over here and then at the back we have the small like opening like hatch if you just turn the ship around fast if we open this we have the small lego boat inside there so, and so when we're like playing and then when we are end with it just we put it back inside there slowly so there's less of a mess Later we will be talking about this. Soon we will be talking about this. So okay. let's close this. Okay. So now, so now, now, now we will be talking about the helicopters and the boat. Do you wish me I take the stage? You, you guys can take. Okay. So now we have two helicopters and one boat. We will be starting off this fighter helicopter. Chenok will be talking about the jet boat and they will just be talking about this helicopter. So this helicopter is a fighter, I think it's a typhoon or typhoon is it's kind a kind of fighter helicopter. It has two machine guns on side that the the boat the instruction doesn't say, but I added the guns with these small guns here. And this helicopter is the the blade is turnable and same as down here. So it's it's a, actually it's not a person jet helicopter. It's a remote control fighter. And now Shenik will talk about the ship. Oh. So this boat, um, it runs on wheels. So it's like a hovercraft, and it has like these wheels as its engine. And so um, it's a passenger um boat, and it has a lot of space in the back, so like for storage and stuff. And um, it's pretty big. And it has these lasers on it. Not, not. It's actually not lasers. It's like the lights. engine lights on the engine, but when it's turning to, on to communicate with the army. Yeah, to communicate, not to communicate with the army. It's like turning on, to warning the other people who took victory that it, the engine is turning on. Yeah. Now, well, David will tell about the helicopter and the and special. And this is a rescue helicopter, which also the propeller can turn around. Turnable. Is turnable. You can open the hatch, but uh, again, this is not a a, a, a minifig can't sit in here. It can. And there, really? Um, but there's also these. What do you call them? Like they're like the helicopter's main switches that you yeah, can control the helicopter. Yeah, and there's also an anchor at the back which you can just pull out to save people. It's the anchor can go really bad, and it's quite hard to bring it back. Because, and you have to like get it from here to bring it back you up. You just have to twirl it, which is hard. You had to kind of break the helicopter for some time. Try and get it. Yeah. Now we'll be, now we'll be talking about this, the ex, the explaining of the small characters. Did you put the tent down? We need you guys. Um, okay. So, if, so if we look here, we have like, one, two, five characters here. And so we don't, there's no command in this day, in this, or captain. So we made our own captain with the characters. The ca the, the captain is down there, or commander. And, and then he's the only one without a gun. Yeah. No, he has a pistol because he's not, he's a commander. And he has binoculars. And then we have the other, others who are military personnel for the commander who are the army army uh army people like soldiers 
and the we have four of them and one commander this is supposed to drive the these two are supposed to drive the helicopter and the boat but uh, we need a commander and captain so we made him the commander oop, command and him a uh, rider so so next and, we, and wait, if you notice these two they're the only one with white helmets where these others they have um gray helmets that's how you know that they're the first in command and second in command so next we'll be talk should i going to take these pieces yeah and we'll put the characters off and we will explain okay next we'll be talking about the smallest details on these for example for now maybe you, everyone can see the small lights on everywhere and stickers that were hard to take put on <laughs> and small maybe lights just... maybe people think that some, there were no small pieces inside the lego pieces from the outside it looks as huge pieces but actually inside there are tiny pieces that i don't know like one by twos one by twos and two by twos and so it was quite hard in, inside but coming out it was even harder like in this day uh, i had to, i asked for mr Rumble for like three more days because there was a huge little problem there that's why i asked for more days because i couldn't figure out what happened but now i can figure it out and then see some pieces are and the next thing is that some pieces are not piecing up because they are small pieces it's quite, quite hard to put them on that's why the second problem that's the second thing. Now, let's talk about... And then we have these small lights and blobs and pieces. <laughs> that are Bits and blobs. Yeah, that were quite, quite hard to find. Next, we'll be talking about... What are we talking about next? Ne the satellite or control center. Whatever you want to call it. Control center. So, we, this is the main control center. And it is really cool because it has satellites and desks for communication with other ships. Because normally in a in a, in a group in an aircraft there are more ships like like attackers would come with them to protect the ship. Because if this things, this is the main thing because it has the jets, horse and jets. So mostly armies take more of these. If there's one, there's lots of other boats protecting this because this is the gym because this has the jets aircrafts that need fight in the air if we lose this we only have boats and, and also if we lose that there's a lot of bo boats um stored in it if we lose it then those go down with it no but in time if they just rescue but that's only it, this is inside the hatch yeah yeah this one is the only thing inside the hatch now we're talking about the guns, small details of the like the guns, weapons. So maybe we'll just take this up from here for now and take for the guns. Should I really put the guns on the table? Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll talk about these for now. Um, these are mini guns and they're three D printed, and there's like all types of them. There's even binoculars and stuff. We have a bag full of them. We have AK 47s and some snipers. See, these are the guns. We're just lining up here for you guys so you, anyone who's watching can see them. We have binoculars, snipers. We have, this is the um, sniper. we have briefcases, even. Briefcases, pistols, uh, uh, walkie talkies. And these are not briefcases, these are ammo bags. Yeah, ammo bags. And these are more... Uzi. That's it, Uzi. And then handcuffs, more walkie-talkies, suitcases, or ammo etc., bags. Etc, etc, etc. And more walkie-talkies. So, and yeah, these. that's basically our collection for collection. them. And we also uh, forgot to show you and missiles. While, while they get off uh, missiles, yeah. these things, they can also go no, onto don't, 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 the yeah, people in the people's hands. And um, it's like for everything. So like, they can be holding two things at once. One thing you can choose. Anyway, back to the main ship. There's still still some guns like these. 
What do you call them? Like, like not, not missiles, like air, anti-air guns. Yeah, they shoot the, they shoot in the air. Uh, they get shot in the air onto the other enemy's boat. No, yeah. not the other enemy's boat. The other enemy's planes that can't attack the ship. And then we have a small missile torpedo place. Torpedoes are not like this. That is same missile, but they go in the border. Yeah, they go f very fast in the border. It's hard to avoid them, but if you and have luck, you can actually avoid them. Yeah, and they don't get crushed by air pressure and sea pressure. Now we'll go back to this. Okay, what's the next? Put the now, back. Okay, now we are talking about the problem in this. In, in this. In this. Now, if you see, it's like, it's a normal ship. But if you take the box here, it has even more pieces than telling. It's ha it, ha it has all the pieces. But if you see, for example, th see this piece up here, it's not on that piece. Because when I searched the box, it was not there. It was so, I was searching the whole house and whole ups house upside down. But I couldn't find it anywhere. And next, this piece. That small piece, another one like here, not like, like some, like something. This it's piece like here, a light. Yeah, I suppo yeah. it's supposed to go here, yeah. but it was not there. I said it had these top pieces, but not this small piece that comes straight up. So that's that for our problem. No pieces. Next, we will be talking about. So now, <laughs> this is the ship. Now we we are in the resolution now, the, or the ending. And I'm not in the ending, not resolution. So the ship is magnificent, but had we had huge problems. So, but this is magnificent. This is a magnificent ship. So, thank you. Whoever is watching right now, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. Goodbye everyone.